So, hey guys, Chaozu here. And yeah, as you saw earlier, I managed to pull Kuma. So I'm pretty happy with that. I like I preferred getting Kisaru, but I've always thought that Kuma is underrated. Like, I'm not going to say he's an amazing legend, but it's not as unusual as some people may think he is. So I decided to just do a bit of a showcase. I'll probably do more teams with Kuma later, but... I think this will do as a start. So yeah, Kuma is pretty similar to V4 Law, the Int Law. So when uh, Kuma takes damage, he retaliates it quite a bit. And you can use that in creative ways, so I used V4 Law quite a bit in Gizis before. So I made use of that in this content. Kuma, of course, also has the great bonus support, which is very helpful in situations like this. And I'm actually going to consume the bomb orbs here. And you'll see what next stage. Why next stage? Taking a ton of damage there. And yeah, that bomb explosion will actually trigger now. So we're going to just instantly move on to the next stage. So yeah, on this stage, I'm just going to stall a bit. Just let Morley self-destruct. I also have Iwanko and Bonclay, who can help here. So yeah, just one tap. Get healing back, so I can survive more later. I must say that I really like the animation Kuma does. When repelling damage, it is super satisfying, very quick too. The weirdest thing with Kuma is that he doesn't seem to have any real voice lines uh, when tapping with him, which is kind of off-putting. Of course, he has them in his special at least, but it's kind of weird, I must say. There is Drowson here. Uh, he was probably not the most necessary one, but I make use of him for both content at least. See, I use Kuma special there. Kuma special is basically a power creep V2 Katakuri just repelling the damage you've taken. So it does really good synergy with his special. And you can combine them like this, take a lot of damage, then use his special and just do even more damage. So yeah, not the best niche in the world, but it's still a niche, and it's unique and pretty cool. My main issue with Kuma is definitely not the cap. His cap is very solid. The main issues are more that strength is very saturated, legend-wise. Kuma isn't even super type, and his special is a color affinity special only for strength. And there we can definitely talk about oversaturation. There's so many color affinity boosting strength legends. It's pretty dumb, honestly. But at least it's not only color affinity. He also has that repel effect with dealing damage you've taken back. But of course, in a lot of content nowadays, we do have normal attacks only. And even if we don't have normal attacks only for something... Most of the time now, the new Kaido Pirates or Kaido Crew will just be a better option for strength-focused content. But he's still a pretty funny meme pick and we also can't sleep on his captain uh, preventing crew from getting blown away. Which has some potential meme potential. So overall I think he's pretty fun but could have been designed better for sure. So yeah, we move on to Navy. I may have not said this yet, but this is one team for both new guard challenges. And it's a pretty flexible team, like... Uh, only the top two rows are needed, quotation marks. Straussen, probably replaceable. Kid, Kid is definitely replaceable. But yeah, remove damage threshold with Sorrow. Then just take the hit, move on. But yeah, it's nice to have another take on V4 Lado. 
The Evil Law can be very interesting sometimes with how you set them up. Um, Kuma is very similar. And I must say, I like that animation that Kuma is doing now. It looks kind of hilarious when it's Kuma doing it. So yeah, just take the hit here. And we'll move on to the next stage. See, I intended to one-shot this stage, and in my test run, I did kill this in one turn. But it seems like the damage is super close, so I ended up not killing, actually. So yeah, this is a pretty good strategy, otherwise, like, you can consume a lot of recovery and kill in the process, and then you can... Just take it more easily. And we also have the issue of burn on the final stage. So that we need to keep an eye on our damage. But yeah, we're able to kill anyway. So we're good. Moving on to the Fuji stage. And yeah, I could have used Kuma special here second turn. But I decided I wanted to showcase some of the uh, potential utility Kuma has. Like as you see here, uh, Fuji will soon start to try and blow me away because it gets too low HP. Okay, we almost chaos. So now he'll try and finish me. Like if we keep him alive here. He'll try and blow me away, but he can't because of Kuma. See, I could have used one Kuma special there instead since uh, we can't really use all of the specials this final stage, but... I do think I still end up using Kuma though because I ended up taking so much damage that I'm low HP. In my test run I used Kid twice, but I cool him now, so yeah. It was fine anyway. So yeah, we got a lot of color affinity there, and attack boost. So yeah, I just did a few perfects to the damage, so yeah, it's not really close at all. Just want to keep at least some matching orbs here, since it's orb RNG. But we at least have Kuma special again for color affinity. Of course, I can clear buff, so we won't do any damage really. But yeah, that's my... Kuma Showcase against Scarp Challenges. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.